to phosphorus com forms different compounds with chlorine. When heated, phosphorus pentachloride dissociates to form phosphorus trichloride and chlorine. We have the equation for that one, and we are told that it's plus 124 kilojoules per mole, so we know it's endothermic. In an experiment to determine the equilibrium constant, 0.1 moles of your PCL5 was placed in a sealed one litre container, that's really useful, and heated to 250 degrees C. At equilibrium, we have how many moles of PCL3 had been formed. Calculate the equilibrium constant. Okay, it's a, it's a little bit of work, but not actually too bad. I think it's not really not bad for three marks. Okay, so we've got your PCL5 is going to your PCL3, let's make it equilibrium, um, and your CL2, okay? You're told that it's a one litre flask, sealed one litre flask. That means everything that you have in terms of mole is going to be per litre, so it's already in concentration, so I don't have to worry about anything to do with that, okay? You're told that you put in 0.1, okay? And you're told that you got out 0 0.0420, okay? Now this is a one to one, so that means I must have had 0 0.0420 of this. What I also must have done is used 0 0.0420 from here, okay, because this is the one to one to one. So if I used up this amount, then I can tell, just taking this away, how much of this I actually have left, 0 0.058, okay. Now I've got these numbers, I can just plug it into K. So K is, and again, data book. Okay, so we've got our concentration of our products. Oh, that should be a square one. Over our, and our concentration of our reactants. Okay, right, so this is just going to be, in fact I could just do squared, um, over our 0 0.058 and that gives us 0 0.0304. Really, really important, do not put units in, and this must be a capital, otherwise you're seeing different things, okay? The temperature of the equilibrium mixture was increased to 400. Explain the effect of this change in temperature on the value of the equilibrium constant. Okay, so this bit is the important bit now. Okay, so we have an endothermic reaction, endothermic and forward. So if I increase temperature, I'm going to increase the products, or you could say decrease the reactants, or you could say shift to the right. The important thing is that we have increased the products relative to the reactants. Now what that means in terms of K, K is your products over reactants. So if you think of this as like a real fraction, imagine that this was, say, 2, and you've just changed that to... 10, okay, you've made this more of a top-heavy fraction, so K is going to increase. Okay, so you're going to have to do basically this bit, and then explain this bit. There's your two marks. Okay, moving on. In the solid state, phosphorus pentachloride is ionic and has the formula given here. The three-dimensional structure for the PCL4 is shown. Complete the table for the PCL6. Okay, so we've got a tetrahedral structure here with the positive charge. So we've now got a PCL6. 6 is going to be octahedral. So we're going to put our phosphorus in the middle, and then we're going to put our four chlorines around the outside to make a square planar middle bit. And then we want our two coming up and down. Okay, put our chlorines on. Now, square the whole thing off because the whole thing has a charge, and put the negative charge there. Okay, that's it. And last question. Phosphorus oxychloride, POCl3, has a similar three-dimensional structure to PCl4. Um, suggest the reason why the bond angle in the POCl3 is less than the bond angle in the PCl4. Okay, so we've got a 103 degree and a 109. And the question is, why have we gone 103? So the only difference is this bond here. And you know about this in terms of normal VSEPR rules. But this one, being very careful, you want to talk about it in this specific. So what you want to say is that this bond here, the P double bond O, has a greater repulsion. So it pushes the bond angle. Yeah, 
and move them coin to coin. Okay, so this, this is, I think, pretty straightforward. What you have to avoid is just running down the route of saying, oh, it's like ammonia, and throwing in stuff about lone pairs. There aren't any sitting in this comfortably. Well, there are some sitting above the oxygen, but that's got nothing to do with this bit that they're talking about here. Okay, um, that's the question.